Hello students, in this video we'll see how to solve problem 5.6.107. 5.6.107 asks us to solve the differential equation y double prime minus y prime minus 12y equals t. And so we'll solve it as we typically do by writing our homogeneous problem. The homogeneous problem is what you get when you set the right hand side equal to zero. The characteristic equation of this problem is r squared minus r minus 12 equals zero, which you can factor as r minus four, r plus three equals zero. So we have r equals four, or r equals negative three, and we've solved our homogeneous problem. Our homogeneous solution is c1 e to the four x plus c2 e to the negative three x. And now we seek a particular solution. So our particular solution, and I've used x here, the problem has t's. We can change all the t's to x's without any noticeable difference. y particular of x will be equal to a plus bx. Since the right hand side is a polynomial, we look for a particular solution which is also a polynomial. So y particular prime will be b y particular double prime will be equal to zero. And now we plug in this information into the problem and check. So we have y double prime, which is zero, minus y prime, which is b, minus 12 times y, which is a plus bx. I'd like this to be equal to x. So now we gather like terms. So I will have a negative 12bx and then a negative b, negative 12a should be equal to x. Comparing the coefficients, we see that negative 12b must be equal to one, which tells me that b is equal to negative one over 12. And this expression over here must be zero. So I have negative b minus 12a equals zero, but if b is negative 1 12th, this is 1 over 12 positive minus 12a equals 0, which tells me that a is 1 over 12 squared, which is 144. Now we can write down the solution of our problem. The solution of our problem, y is y homogeneous plus y particular. y homogeneous we know to be c1 e to the 4x plus c2 e to the negative 3x. And the particular solution is plus 1 over 144 minus 1 12 x. Again, the problem was written in terms of t as the independent variable. I've just changed it to x in this problem. We can substitute in all the x's for t's or we can leave the problem in terms of x's, whatever the independent variable of the problem is. So that's our solution. Thank you very much.